Hello again. Uh, I'm back with an update on my dur knife Duracoat project. Kind of uh, my this is my learning knives that I'm doing. I guess is what I'm calling them. I'm just trying to do a couple knives that don't really have any meaning to me too much uh, before I get to trying things out on my gun. Uh, I've learned a couple of things already, and I'm I hope uh, everybody will benefit from them. One thing that I wasn't real clear on is, uh, I think because I've seen other people do this and they, I don't know if they have the order wrong or it just happens to work for them or what, but as I was getting this knife ready on the, on the prep side, the metal prep side of the project, I degreased it with uh, their true strip it worked good you know they say you can use brake cleaner or whatever that you know anything that doesn't uh, leave a residue but uh, at any rate I degraced it cleaned it up then I sanded and you know I was left with all this sanding residue so I'm like well I'll just degrease it again I degreased it again so I thought that was fine I was like well it's not gonna leave any residue if I degrease it a second time to get all the all the dust and whatnot off of the knife after I sanded it. Uh, they say you shop air, but I was like, well, you know, why not just degrease it again, clean it off, let it dry. Well, I have a nick, and I can't tell you 100% where this nick came from, and I don't know if it's going to even focus in for you, but if you can tell, I'm having a lot of trouble doing videos with this camera, by the way. Uh, there is a, there's a nick here. Um, I'm going to try to focus in. Yeah, you can see it a little better there. Um, and I, I can't say 100% if, you know, I didn't notice it until a day or two after a buddy of mine was looking at it and he noticed it. And I just didn't see it. Um, I don't know if I nicked it while it was still in the within that uh, four or five hour whatever period where it's kind of initially curing or what I don't, I don't know I didn't let anything bump it I think when I was moving it back and forth from place to place and showing some some of my friends uh, it must have got bumped but anyway you can see it there so I was trying to figure out well hey this stuff's supposed to be super hard why is it doing this even after you know a few hours it's supposed to be you know fairly set uh, and it shouldn't just come off so I called Duracoat and asked them made sure and they said well hey Two different people there said the same thing. They're like, "Well, you got the order wrong. You, you, you should not um, degrease after you sand." And I was like, "Well, that you know, it just didn't make any sense to me that you would degrease, then sand, then not be able to degrease as long as your degreaser didn't leave a residue." And I said, "Can you?" I asked them, "Can you explain to me why that is?" And they said, basically, they don't know. Uh, they told me both the two individuals said, and I'm not dogging them. They just haven't figured it out yet. Um, they're if if you degrease and sand and then degrease again instead of using shop air, just uh, like an air can like this, or a uh, you know your air compressor over there. Um, if you do that with with the uh, in, instead of uh, using shop air if you degrease a second time apparently they're having trouble with it so don't degrease uh, a second time um, I can't say for sure that's what happened with that but it happened so and they said that very well could be it so at any rate she said what I need to do as long as it's within a seven day period I can just coat over this okay if it's past seven days what I need to do is go through the process again which is sanding this down uh, oh I'm sorry let me get it right degrease it again then sand it then use the shop air air compressor or canned air whatever okay so if it's if you have a mistake like this within seven days you can just coat over it if it's past seven they said go ahead and Sand, uh, degrease it, sand it down a little bit, and reshoot it. They said there wouldn't be a problem either way, but that's the process. Do not degrease after you sand. That's a big thing I learned. Um, 
So I'm going to work on that. And also, uh, just to double check and make sure I get the process down right, uh, I've got another knife I'm going to do. Uh, where is it? It's over here. Uh, this is an old knife I had from when I was a kid. I literally have had this knife since I was probably eight or nine. It's a uh, United Cutlery Bushmaster, and it has been through it, man. I have played with this knife. I've used it. It's, I mean, I've had this knife a long time. Um, it's n it's not a great knife. I mean, as far as like quality steel and all that, it's uh, 420 stainless. Uh, it's got a Oh, what is this? A cast metal handle. It was a survival knife, so it's like tubular. Which brings me to my modification. Uh, it used to be like a, a little compass thing you could screw in on the on the end for the butt cap, but I lost it, and I want to fill that in. I, I'm uh, wanting to make it halfway functional, and I don't want to have a hollow handle. So what I'm doing is I've got a little pipe fitting that I'm going to screw in here and lock tight, and there was a hole in the top of it so I filled it in with a bolt so what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to screw this in tight as I can get it locked tight it in then I'm going to take a uh, once it's in there and screw it in I'm going to take a hacksaw and cut the top off and grind it down if I still can't grind it good I may just weld it and kind of grind it and smooth it up anyway doesn't really matter it's, it's not a great knife I'm just doing it for practice uh, then I'm going to lock tight and screw that in. And hopefully by the time I'm done, it will kind of look like that. I don't know if you could tell. Anyway, that's just a little modification to get a get a butt cap on there so I don't have a hollow handle there. But uh, anyway, definitely this time I'm going to sand and then blow it off with shop air um, and not degrease at the end. I'm going to degrease, sand, shop air, and then spray it. Uh, anyway, I'll update more on this one later. Thanks.